Hey guys, it's Sunday, it's sunny. We're in Copenhagen. We decided to go off and uh, film a promo video of the spines. And what do you know, at some point we realized that Nick's spine, uh, who's beside, behind the camera right now, his spine decides to kick off the uh, phone connection every now and then. We're not, we weren't sure what it is, but uh, luckily I somehow always have a screwdriver and the tools that we need to disassemble with me. So what we're doing now is we're trying to disassemble the part and we did disassemble it and as you can see this cable when I was trying to pull it out it came off really easily but it's actually worse than that and I think it's not gonna be fixable because what it seems to be is either it should never be plugged or uh, or we broke off the Because normally this thing has to be more... I'm not sure who did this. It was you guys. Do you remember uh, if Suna told you anything about uh, how these things were connected? No. no. Okay. Because it seems that either he wanted to isolate these, and that's why he did it, or it just they just broke off. But it's most likely that this one is not even meant to be put like this. So yeah, we're repairing. And uh, after that, we're gonna go back and uh, film some more stuff. All right, so the day started really good. Um, what we found out is that uh, Nick's spines is very special in the sense that you can see that the motor controller is actually moving a little bit up and down. And this shouldn't happen because deep down there, you can maybe see, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there is this screw that should hold this one intact. Now, because that happened and because it's moving around, and this can be because of uh, Either it was pre-drilled with a too big of a drill, or it was actually uh, just uh, not uh, screwed in uh, properly. Because that we had that movement, we had these cables that were standing somewhere here, like this. I'm not entirely sure how, but I think it was they were standing something like this. And because there was movement, no, I think actually they were standing like that. And because there was movement, they were touching. Uh, they were um, it was flexing like this. Um, against the capacitor, that's my impression. And then my guess was that, that uh, this thing broke off is actually true. So it actually did break off and uh, we're just super lucky that we didn't have any shortages because this is 3 volts and ground and uh, if this would have broken off and touched any other electronics of the motor controller, that would have been uh, uh, a costly repair. Other than that, for now, I think it's good. It's an easy fix. We need to resolder the pins and uh, reconnect the cables. But the learning is um, that, yeah, we should uh, screw that thing uh, on properly. The motor controller should be properly screwed in into the electronic box so it doesn't move. And besides that, we should keep on having this uh, uh, this hitchring over because if there was uh, a shortage or an open cable, we can see that actually the, the hitchring is quite well in, uh, in in blocking access to to the to all the small um, electronics uh, electronic components of the motor so yeah uh, now I think we're gonna drop off the spine at uh, our headquarter and grab a hyperboard and then we will be filming only one spine and then we'll have Nick uh, driving on the, on the hyperboard and filming me you excited Nick yep all right, so after some investigations outside, we decided to actually come inside and take it apart and uh, use some proper tools because you saw that the, uh, the cable is actually out, the pins have been ripped off and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and uh, do a quick fix because we know the motor controller has another source of uh, 3 volts and uh, a ground and we're going to try and pin these there so Nick can drive, yeah, so I'm on to it, disassembled. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually resoldering. So you guys heard me saying that we need to find another source for ground and free bolts, and we found it on this pin. And uh, we are already using. Let me grab something that I can point with. So we are already using the first one. So we're using this one. Here, that's for uh, RX, and this one is TX, maybe vice versa, I don't remember exactly. But then the important thing is here we have ground, and then here we actually have uh, three volts. And in the BESC uh, manual, it is actually saying VCC, but uh, soon from his experience in me uh, measurements, he actually pinpointed to me that it's three volts. So now what I did 
is I took the cable that normally went in there and I added these two cables. Uh, so I cut out our long cables that, with the broken pins and I put them into this one. And then we are gonna try and uh, uh, plug it in and hope that it works. So, progress is happening. We have uh, resoldered uh, the <coughs> um, three volts and the um, ground. However, then we realized that the motor controller, uh, it does in documentation say that it should feed three volts from another pin, but it was only feeding half a volt. So we were not getting power. So then I had to solder back the, the pin that I did the half at the beginning. And then I had to fix those uh, broken pins. So unsolder the three uh, broken pins, put three new ones, put the new, um, um, yeah, connect the thing to power. And uh, we tested it, it works. Now we have to just uh, assemble it back and then Nick is good to go. How do you feel, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thumbs up.